Hello everybody, and we're here to start week one against UTSA. Certainly ODU are rated better than UTSA, but the Roadrunners do have a few players who can do some damage. As you can see, they're they're pretty uh, evenly rated across the board. So we'll see how they perform here at Foreman Field. We're under the lights. It's an evening game. The sun is just going down now, so we're going to be under the lights for the entirety of this game. It looks to be a good one. But here we go as Old Dominion wins the toss and decides to take it. They're going to receive, see what the offense can do. Antoine Hopkins, sophomore running back, will be the return specialist this year. And what about the starting offensive unit for the Monarchs? Lots of questions about the quarterback position, but first let's talk about something that's 100% sure. David Dixon, 4,500 career rushing yards, 53 touchdowns, and has added a number of receiving and return yards as well. Brandon Ellison, 108 career receptions, 1,500 yards, 8 touchdowns. Lawrence Reese, another senior alongside Ellison, has been really... Limited until last year, Reese came on and, and made an important breakthrough. And Todd Jackson, the sophomore, had a great freshman season. And here are the offensive line, Jermaine Stewart, E.J. Ford, and all Alex Hardy, David Flores, and Grant Bowen leading the way. Blocking the run and passing game. Here's Joshua Kemp, the freshman. Some say he should have been redshirted. Some say he's not quite good enough to be a starting quarterback. He's five foot ten. But he's quite accurate. He's even a little more accurate than Josh Silva, the redshirt senior, six foot one, and only slightly faster than Kemp. Who's it going to be? It's number 17, Josh Kemp. Some will question this decision, no doubt. But this is UTSA. It's a home game, and it's a good game to kind of gauge maybe where Kemp is in a real game situation. This isn't a tough opponent. This isn't a big-time game by any means. And here, Ellison breaking tackles. Brandon Ellison down to the 50 on that play. But this is a chance to see what Kemp can do without a big-time opponent or a high-pressure situation here. And he's got the legs to do it. Kemp and Silva are very similar quarterbacks. The difference is Kemp's a freshman, Silva's a senior. So what Kemp can do in the future may be anything that Silva would ever be able to accomplish. It's an interesting prospect, but Kemp is by no means the permanent starter for this team. It remains an open book for Josh Silva to come on here. And Kemp, what a hurdle! Showing his athletic ability, hurdling the defender a 14-yard gain on the carry. He's already got three carries on the day. Second and goal. Kemp going to look to throw. Nobody really open. Taking off. Going to go diving into the end zone. First touchdown. Scored by Josh Kemp and it's on the ground four yard scamper into the end zone to give ODU the early lead not the toughest defense for UTSA but uh, Kemp gets it done on that first drive I think we can all be impressed by what he did on that first drive third and nine now for Stevenson looking the throw finds DeAndre Warren who's met by a swarm of defenders brought down by Donald Simmons and it's fourth down. UTSA will give the ball back to ODU. And the home crowd loving it so far. The Monarchs could break into the top 25 if they have a couple good performances against UTSA and Wyoming here in the early goings. First and 10 now. Stevenson on the next drive. Sacked for six yard loss. ODU on the drive following that last ODU drive. Couldn't get anything done. And Stevenson going to hand it off to Warren, who's a very tough running back. But he's brought down a draw play on third and 16. Goes nowhere. Anthony Cody meets him on that one. And the punt goes to Antoine Hopkins. Here set to receive. Here good blocking. Nice coverage. Can he do it? Hopkins has the punter to beat. Can't do it. Just enough. 28 yards. Can't complain, though. Nearing the end of the first quarter, handoff to David Dixon, the leading Heisman candidate. Look at the move he puts on the defender, breaking two tackles inside the 15 out of bounds. Huge gain for Dixon. That's what you want to see from your star player. 
shotgun formation on third and six now from about the eight yard line here. Kemp looking to throw. He's got Nick Carroll wide open and the first touchdown pass of his career. A beautiful one to a wide open Nick Carroll. ODU extends the lead now to two scores, 14 nothing. That was too easy. UTSA defense not even challenging the Monarch offense yet. Third and one on their next drive there. Five minutes to go in this second quarter here. Stevenson out of the shotgun. Warren to his right. Going to look for a little option here. Pitches it to Miller. Miller has some room to run. Robinson stumbles. And Reggie Bolin hanging on him. It's pushed out by Justin Weddle. First down. DeAndre Warren. Look at this move. Breaking tackles. He's a tough runner. Solid running back for the Roadrunners. Third and two. And the ODU defense come up with a stop here. Hand off to Wilson. And he's going to be met by the defender in the backfield. It's John Mills coming off the corner there to make the stop. UTSA settles for the field goal. 14-3 now. First point of the day for them. Josh Silva comes in to hand off to Dixon. Look at the shifty juke move. Dixon is a beast. 15 yards making it look easy. Oh my. Silva now. Going to fake the handoff, gives it to Ellison, going down the sideline. Ellison makes a move, pushed out at the 30, and Josh Silva's first completion of the season there. Kemp comes back on, though, third and two out of the pistol formation. Esper Silva got a few snaps, see what he could do. Hand off to Dixon, look at this play. Dixon shaking off defender, gets in to about the five. Things are looking good for the Monarch offense so far, first and goal. Kemp looking to throw, finds Lawrence Reese, and it's another touchdown. Third touchdown today by Kemp, second through the air. The Monarch offense looking very solid. It's, it's by no means a great defense they're going up against, but it is encouraging to see this kind of consistency early on. Under two minutes to go now. Can Anthony Stevenson get this offense going? He can't. DeAndre Warren stopped in the backfield. A four-yard loss. Third and 14 now. They have a lot of ground to make up. Can Stevenson find a way to make it happen? They've got their best receiver in there. Derek Shaw, 26. He is a fantastic receiver. Maybe their best offensive player by far. Brian Moore, look at the pressure. He is so fast. Out of that middle linebacker position, he wasn't highly recruited. He not even all that highly rated, but he can get the job done. And here, Rory High, another third and long. It's not very encouraging when your defense has given up third and longs repeatedly. That can be very frustrating now. First and ten, a screen play to Warren. Warren's got a little room on the edge, nearly gets the first down. Chance to, to punch it in the end zone before halftime. They're going to empty the backfield. Stevenson. All day to throw, and it's Russell into the end zone. First touchdown, and it's the tight end on the play with 30 seconds to go in the first half. They get on the board yet again, so it's 21-10. to 10. ODU has the lead, but it's by no means a runaway victory right now as both offenses have found success in their strong points. UTSA passing, Old Dominion running, and have managed to rack up some yards and the other end too. Time of possession pretty pretty equal. But things are looking good for the Monarch offense led by a freshman quarterback. Some have said he should be redshirted. Give Silva the start. Let the senior do the job. But it is going to be a battle here early in the season to see whether Silva or Kemp can hold on to the job for the season. UTSA gets the ball to start this second half here. Look at Warren shaking off some tackles. Gets across the first down marker. Looking good. They can score a touchdown on this drive. That'll make things uncomfortable for ODU here. But Charles Barber nearly intercepts that. He should have had that in his hands. Couldn't. But it's a punting situation for UTSA. Silva comes in. What can he do now? Pressure coming in an off-target throw. Didn't look very good. Under pressure there. Third and ten. Kemp comes in. And promises is not what's going to happen all season. Quarterbacks won't be switching like this intermittently. But look at this play. What a throw by Kemp to Lawrence Reese. 27 yards. A beautiful throw. Kemp has shown some excellent ability on finding his targets so far. He's got a few incomplete passes. 
but when he's complete those passes, he looked really good. Dixon handoff to the left side, a little counter play, and he's going to get another 12 yards there. Looking good. Under center is kept now. Handoff to Sullivan, left side, great blocks. Look at that, Lawrence Reese takes down a defender on the edge, gives Sullivan the 24-yard touchdown run. Sullivan's touched the ball a few times today, but for very minimal yardage, 24-yard TD run extends the lead 28-10. Can UTSA do to respond? Anthony Cody finds Warren in the backfield. He's a very good defensive tackle. Look for him this year. Along with John Jordan. Those two will eat up the middle. Second and 13. Now Warren stopped. Chad Robinson. Five yard loss. That went nowhere. Drive ends. ODU attacking now in UTSA territory. Second and eight. Kemp out of the shotgun. Two wide receivers to his right side. Look at this. Going to find Todd Jackson. Separation. The superior athlete. A huge play and another beautiful pass from the quarterback. Kemp's third touchdown passing on the day. Look at this. Guy's in his face even. And Jackson's just a superior athlete. The man covering him had no chance. The separation on that play was clear at the end. 35-10. to 10. This game is getting out of hand now. Stevenson. Trying to find something. He gets his best player, Derek Shaw, involved. They need to keep finding Shaw because otherwise they don't have much else with their offense right now. Look at this play. Going to find Rory High. 19 yards and suddenly their passing game is finding some consistency. It's Russell on this play into about the two-yard line. And Stevenson's passing has been spot on on this drive. What can he do now on a goal line situation? Sacked! John Jordan, the senior from Canada. What a career he's had at that defensive tackle position. Pushes past his man. And if it wasn't him, it was going to be Anthony Cody. Second and goal. Chance for the defense to come up with another stop. Stevenson, a little option. He's going to get back the yardage he lost. Down about the half yard line. Third and goal. They literally have a couple inches to go. And Stevenson's brought down. It's Pierre Brooks, the backup linebacker. What a play. And UTSA takes the field goal. So it's only 35-13. Dixon handoff on this next drive. Look at all the green he has to work with. Can he beat out the last two defenders? They run him down, but he gets 34. What a player. Cross midfield, first and 10. Sullivan comes in the game now. He's going to get some action now. Breaks off a tackle. Two tackles. Three tackles. Trucks the defender. What a run. Eight yards. That's a way to earn eight yards. Four players shaken off by Scott Sullivan before being brought down. And Jackson gets the first down on that play. Good passing by Cap. Third and two. Basically a goal line situation here. Going to hand off Dixon, the best player. One of the best players in all of college football. Gets into the end zone. The 54th time in his career. He's adding to his record-breaking numbers here at Old Dominion. Fourth quarter, 42-13. This game's gotten out of hand. Some backup defenders in, but Justin Weddle still in the action. Nearly gets an interception. He can't believe he dropped it. He really wanted that. Second and 10. Stevenson, what's he going to do? Hits Davis. Getting some good reps for the... The bench guys, the backup defenders, won't see as much playing time in some of the bigger games this season, perhaps. But there's a touchdown for Stevenson, a hard-fought run into the end zone. Kemp's going to hand it off to Antoine Hopkins now, as yet again we're seeing some backups getting the action here. What a run by Hopkins, his first carry of the game, 26 yards. Fantastic job. Kemp's still in the game. Trying to still keep his confidence up and see what he can do. He tries to force a play here. Maybe a little too confident with the lead that we've got, 42-20. to 20. That was not a very good throw, not a very good decision. And so Stevenson and the Roadrunners take over. Second and 10, Stevenson looking to throw, and it's sophomore linebacker Steven Gant. He's the backup at the middle linebacker position out of Florida. The sophomore with his first interception there. Big play. And now, just trying to kill some time, but running out of field. Going to run a little play action here. Kemp's going to redeem himself a little bit. Finds Matt Ryan on this play for yet another touchdown. Four touchdowns on the day, passing by Kemp. Another by way of a scramble 
ODU wins and Kemp is the player of the game. 49-20. to Big win. By no means surprising because UTSA just simply aren't on the same level that ODU is. And I know some people have said, start Silva, start Silva, gotta be Silva. But Kemp is basically on the same level ratings wise. We've seen what he can do passing the ball. And so we can still move around with the offense, move him as an athlete, and Kemp can do the same thing. So in the Wyoming game, we'll see. It's a road game. The Wyoming game will be a road game, so that will be interesting to see how the freshman handles it. Wyoming are a better team than UTSA. But it's an important road game coming up in week three. 11 of 20, 142, four touchdowns, one interception. An ill-advised interception, but still an interception. There's the rushing numbers. He had 7 of 66 in a touchdown. Dixon, 169 yards and a touchdown. A ridiculous day for him. Good day for Brandon Ellison. Five catches, 69 yards. Solid. Reggie Bullen, the freshman safety, manages to lead the team in tackling. Not too bad. Good win, though. Good way to start the season, you know. Um, should get this kind of result against a team like UTSA, but, you know, met expectations. It'll be an interesting game against Wyoming in the next video. I'll also cover recruiting in the next video. I don't cover it here today, but we're going to cover all the recruits we're looking at, and, and you'll get a look at them, and we'll review them throughout the season so you can see who will be coming into the program in the future. Stevenson, 50 attempts, 32 completions, almost 350 yards, but only one touchdown. UTSA offense had its moments where they looked good, but too many times they were not efficient enough to get the job done. Receivers did have some good numbers, though. Rory High over 100 yards receiving. Again, uh, Kemp may not be the permanent starter for this season. Silva certainly will get his share of playing time, but we'll have to wait till next time to see who will be the starting quarterback in the Wyoming game. I promise this won't be a changing thing throughout the season. This is only an early season thing. As the season goes on, we will settle on a starting quarterback by week three, the Oklahoma or by week four, I should say, the Oklahoma game. There it is, team stats over 400 yards on both sides. 307 yards rushing for ODU, no surprise there as that's been kind of a normal thing to have huge rushing numbers. Great week one victory. We'll cover recruiting like I said and we'll get into week three after we, the week two bye passes here. We'll get into week three taking on Wyoming on the road. First time ODU and Wyoming I've ever met. I'll see you guys all next time.